Assalamu alaikum students. My name is Dr. Imran Khatri. I am Associate Professor, Department of Entomology, Sindh Agriculture University, Tandojam, Pakistan. Now today's our topic is how insects can be identified. The world is full of many different types of animals. Some swim, some flying, some breathe air, some breathe under water, Some have skeleton and others don't. To help us understand the differences between animals in our world, scientists classify or sort animals into important groups that share important characteristics. Here we can see we have arachae, eubacteria, protista, fungi, plantae, animalia. The two largest groups of animals are vertebrates and invertebrates. These are vertebrates and this is invertebrate. Vertebrates are animals that have spines or backbone. You can see here, these are the animals that have backbone. This is the backbone that the human beings also have. You are aware of that. And the invertebrates or animals that do not have backbone. This one here, you can see here that this backbone is absent in all these animals. And remember, most of the animals in the world are invertebrates. Some examples of the invertebrates are octopus, squid, insects, jellyfish, crabs, arachnids, starfish, sea urchins, lobsters. Vertebrates are those animals that have vertebral column. As we can see here, this is vertebral column. This is present in all animals including human beings. Now here you can see uh, these animals are divided into two categories, cold-blooded animals and warm-blooded animals. Now, cold-blooded animals are those that cannot maintain their temperature according to the environment. For example, the outside temperature is 30 degree so that body temperature will also be changed whereas warm blooded animals whatever the temperature is outside in the environment it doesn't affect on their body they have constant body temperatures these include vertebrate fish amphibia reptilia apes means birds and mammalia. Now this clip is from Coral Reef Walk uh, 
uh, in uh, Thailand. Now let's look at the characteristics that makes the fish. The fish live underwater. They use gills to breathe, not lungs. They have scales and fins. They are cold-blooded, means they cannot control their body temperature. And depending on surrounding environment, most fish lay eggs. Amphibians include frogs, toads, salamanders. They can live both on land and in water and have smooth skin. Amphibians lay jelly cover eggs in the water. Amphibians do not look like their parents and they go through metamorphosis to reach adult similarity. Reptiles, you know turtles, snakes, crocodiles, lizards, they are also cold-blooded animals but they are air-breathing animals. Even some reptiles like turtle must come to the surface to breathe. They lay eggs out of the water under protected shells. Birds are easy to recognize. They are the only animals that have feathers. Like reptiles, birds can only breathe air. All birds lay eggs, but they have hard shells. But not all birds fly, unlike amphibians, reptiles, invertebrates, they are warm-blooded animals. That means they can make their body temperature regardless of the environment. Mammals or animals that humans belong to. Like birds, mammals are warm-blooded animals and breathe air. Even mammals living in water must come to the surface to breathe. Almost all mammals have fur or hair. Mammals lay young ones instead of laying eggs. And all mammals feed their babies milk. Mammals have ears to stick out. Now before starting of the insect taxonomy, we clearly understood that kingdom Animalia is divided into fish, amphibians, reptilia, birds, and mammalia. Now here is this insect taxonomy. In practice, insect taxonomy is more difficult for two major reasons. Number one, first, the enormous number of species that occur often with very minor differences in structure. You can see here, they have the large number here. Now the second, they have small size of most insects frequently means the identifying characters are not easily seen and we need to use microscopes. Now there are various methods for identifying insects. Number one could be very easy. For example, uh, just to send your specimen to an expert here and it will tell you the result. Number two, it may be compared with the specimens in a labeled collection maybe in the museum, maybe in a depository of any university, or maybe in any private institute. Number third, it may be compared with the pictures or descriptions available in a literature. This is the description here. 
and these are the pictures available you can study and compare with your specimens now, what is key it is very easy to understand for example uh, this is insect now we know that insect have three pairs of legs it means six legs so this is the key for insect if we have several creatures we can easily identify or separate from these old creatures by identifying three pairs of legs for example someone tells you if there is an animal if it has trunk it means it is elephant and you find that there is an animal that is having a trunk so this is the key to identify elephant now here in figure given blue is the example of illustrated key for the identification of each family for example um, if you see here pronotum is enlarged here as you see here so this is membership if the pronotum is normal here if you can see it means it is characteristics of cicadality and here if you see hind tibia with two stout spine spines here this is sarcopedy and if you see hind tibia with rows of minute ct so this is the characteristics of cicadality now there are various types of keys for identifying insects the one is here simple diacotomous keys this is very old one still it is in use people use it to identify the insects another one is the pictorial key the pictorial key here the pictures are provided and people compare their pictures uh, and specimens with these pictures and find out that what is species is that okay now uh, here is the interactive key you can see here the characters are already given pictures are already giving you just click on it and finally you reach up to the your final result that what is species you have got though many people are working on this uh, uh, procedure but it is uh, this procedure is not well established for all groups of insects since there are millions of insects and it is not possible to cover these all groups now you can see here how higher classification goes down life realm kingdom animalia phylum then class order family genus and species most often however we need to dissect male genitalia of insect to reach up to the species level importance of male genitalia was first time floated by edward baker 1878 now edward baker first reported the value of the concealed male genitalia uh, in differentiating species thus the method followed by subsequent workers is now well established and is the basis of modern taxonomy now method of preparing genitalia is also known as maceration it removes soft connective tissues fat bodies and makes the specimen very clear to study under microscope 
Let's see what is the procedure. Take the specimen. Remove the abdomen with the pen. And separated abdomen, put it in test tube containing 10% potash. Now put this into beaker containing 50% water. Put it, it on hot plate. Now you will see you have very clear abdomen, macerated abdomen actually. All soft connective tissues and fat bodies are removed. Now you can see your pygopher is ready for study under microscope. You can see each and everything very clear. As we previously studied in, math, in fauna of British India, that in fauna of British India, they have only provided description and the habitus image which is not enough according to the today's modern taxonomy. Though many authors today prefer this method, they capture pictures and publish it, though some journals accept this procedure, but uh, making line drawings through camera lucida is most preferred method in modern taxonomy. You can see here, each and everything is very clearly and in detail is given here. Definitely, this genitalia information, this genitalia information is missing in fauna of British India. Thank you so much for watching this video.